Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Research re- No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, welcome back to the sequel of the first video, the second video. If not now, when? So, like I was saying in the first video, I've wanted to make this channel for a very long time, and I kind of have a million reasons to be making this channel, to share my creative works, to share my thoughts and opinions with the world in hopes of bringing about positive change. So I have a lot of reasons why I want to make the channel, but I also had a lot of reasons why I didn't want to make the channel, why I was more hesitant, why I just kind of waited so long, I guess. For starters, I'm kind of a private person. I kind of like to keep to myself. I don't really post a whole lot of stuff on the social medias, and I just kind of like to be... I don't know. I'm just kind of a private person. It's that simple. You know, there's so many artists that talk about the dark side of celebrity and the dark side of fame. It's not that I really aspire to be that person that's always in the spotlight. I just aspire to be someone that shares their creativity for others to see and check out and maybe give a thumbs up if you care. <laughs> All I'm saying is that there's a lot of artists that have warned about the downside of having your own platform. It's like, once I start doing this, you know, how is this going to impact my friendships? How is this going to impact my relationships with my coworkers? Oh, there goes Spencer again, trying to become some kind of person. But it's like, is this going to create unforeseen issues, or do I just worry on a professional level? So I guess that's another reason why I didn't always want to do this. There's also the criticism, which I am certainly no stranger to being a fiction writer, and I've gotten very good at seeking out that criticism, but then, you know, when you put this out there for anybody to see, and they can hide behind the face of anonymity, Anonymity? Anonymity? And they can hide behind their anonymous usernames, you will be subjected to a much harsher and a much more relentless criticism. So that's something that you have to be prepared to handle. But another reason why it took me so long is because I'm such a fucking perfectionist. Obviously, as a person who wrote the same novel like nine fucking times, yeah, I, I might have a problem with like hyper perfectionism where if it's not exactly 110% of my ability, if there's one damn thing that I can point to and be like, that can be better, I will try to make it better. For instance, this is the third fucking attempt at making this one video. Like, I kept going on tangents, and it was just all bad. Really need to condense the thoughts. But yeah, I mean, there's other videos too where I've made them, and then I go to edit, and it's like, I watch it, and I'm like, fuck, dude, the lighting's wrong, and this is wrong, and you said this wrong, and I gotta redo it. I can't put this out there. I don't like to put out like subpar material. This channel actually is kind of my way of breaking myself out of that almost because there are videos that I have made that I will put out there that I'm like, yeah, the lighting was really bad and yeah, that wasn't really that great. Yeah, that guitar playing sucked. I'm so nice to myself. But it's like, fuck it, I'll just share it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but that has always been one of the things that made me kind of hesitant is not just making videos as good as I can make them, but also just the amount of time. It all goes back to time. For the last 10 years, I focused most of my energy on writing specifically. When you write, you are doing the lighting, you're doing the directing, you're doing the dialogue. You present the entire picture that people then make their own picture of in their heads. And so it was like, if I can get good at that, then that would be all I needed, I guess. Writing two novels, writing writing that novella, writing those short stories, and then you get people's opinions on it, and then they tell you yes or no, it's good or it's bad, it's a one or a zero. You can just keep tweaking them, trying to get them published, but it all just comes down to time. Writing itself takes so much goddamn work and so much discipline and so much raw persistence that you don't have a whole lot of time for anything else. But now I'm finally in the spot in life where I can make videos videos. And so now that I have this option at my disposal, it's like, if I don't do it, then when will I? It's already been 10 years. Will I wait for another 10 to pass by? 
And that's kind of the point. How many excuses do you have to show a counter argument to before you just say, fuck it, we'll do it live? That's a Bill O'Reilly quote. So now I am in that spot to be able to do this. I am that fortunate. And so if I don't do it now, when? When do you take action? When is it too late? Is it already too late? Was it too late five years ago? Is it too late for you? What are you holding yourself back from? What excuses do you tell yourself? Because it's not always about finding those excuses. Sometimes it's about finding those reasons. And I think on that note, I'm going to end it. Hey, thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys later on the next one, probably, unless you don't come back. I don't know. I'll see you later. Bye.